one side with let's say a hospital or a school um, any uh, asset that's to do with the greater good it's not there it's not for profit as I say not for profit uh, for the greater good uh, they are continually seeking to share data for the common good their <clears throat> reputations are built on their knowledge and their understanding and appreciation of their field of expertise be it <clears throat> in medicine um, in education now there's a proliferation of data centers around the world and uh, data centers hold very uh, secure information um, uh, and in some instances um, it is for the greater good that that information is kept totally intact and is difficult to get hold of <coughs> and shared only with those who need to know that's our predicament is being able to provide for construction and its built environment um, a black box so everybody it's known that information goes into that block that black box it's for the great good uh, for security health safety and environmental reasons now for basically to make sure we minimize uh, a, a, a prolification an impact on the public it's the single point of truth and it will record changes including the reason for change uh, evaluation of change date of change and the decision making process who made the changes so that's to do with the safety of the building this virtual world is way more complex than the physical world and we need a way of enforcing uh, law and order and uh, within the virtual world just as we had to with the physical world you've got to be able to know you've collated the data as you want it then you've got to be able to store it as you want it and then now you want to be able to retrieve it as and when you like and that's probably the greatest movement forward is retrieval of data when we want it and how we want it uh, that has come on in absolute leaps and bounds so uh, we're very very quick now at putting data in um, to, but there is such a plethora of information so it means so that's, that's one great thing about the pandemic is that we've had to overcome not being able to be physically anywhere but uh, it's proven a great evidence um, that and fair play to everybody involved in this uh, process is that by using technology you can use it visually and you can use voting systems you can actually collaborate with an enormous amount of people as long as they have access to easy to use technology what's going to um, be the main driver um, that would, would, would take us to which is tipping point and beyond will be uh, decarbonisation now uh, the, the interesting thing for the built environment when it comes to being uh, carbon you know, zero carbon um, is this is that uh, if you consider that um, there's the material extraction which takes the, the rock takes the marble uh, and and uh, what have you and so that we've actually then can have a manufacturing process of uh, building materials for want of a better term so that's, that's two processes then we've got the third process where the finished product either goes into a warehouse or into a builder's merchant and then you move on to that and then we we'll actually actually deliver the construction itself so we have to deliver and uh, build the asset and then you go on from that and then it will be in operation and then it will need to be uh, demolished and removed when it comes to its end of its life cycle and then it's going to go after be, be either landfill or you'll be reuse or recycling so the built environment is uh, almost like the enemy of decarbonization um, that means is that 
we know we've got to improve performance. We've got to improve performance. Improve performance is to know the data when you started and how you're getting on and what improvements are you making. And that information it needs to be shared and uh, as an industry or industries that are involved in the built environment, it's absolutely uh, vital that we capture information and we've got it stored and then we can retrieve it and we share it. And I think the pandemic has brought that home, actually, is that it can happen really, really quickly. And we've got to be better at, we've mentioned about uh, simulation and be trying to move forward what's going to happen next rather than it happens we react we've got to be completely and utterly proactive and without data that has been secured um, we, it has easily easy to retrieve and it's shared for the right people for all the right reasons we need <clears throat> to best in, invest in time money and effort in the digital twin program uh, it, 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 without a shadow of a doubt we need uh, to be able to have that information highway for society mankind for us to survive we now need to be far more open than we've ever been